We are member to. Before the Kanso Causeway, before Confederation in 1867, even before John Cabot, our culture and heritage was established by our ancestors who lived on this land, which eventually became member to. Although we have endured hardships, the strength of our community has allowed us to rise above and to learn in order to move forward. Every year our community continues to grow in population, land, housing, education, training, job creation and business development. Guided by the needs of the community, chief and council continue to believe that strong leadership will encourage the growth and sustainability of member two. I think the philosophy for all of us really uh, in my time as a councillor was uh, if member two succeeds the entire community succeeds and vice versa so it's important especially now more so than ever that uh, that our local government CBRM council and the member two council do whatever we can to work together to help move the one community forward. Member two is situated three kilometers from the heart of Sydney, Nova Scotia. Member two is one of six Mi'kmaq communities on Cape Breton Island and one of 13 in the province. Member 2 is named after Grand Chief Member 2 and was established in 1929 with a small population of less than 150 people which today has grown to over 1200. Throughout history, Member 2 community members have valued the teachings of their elders and the culture and heritage they pass on. The opening of the Member 2 Heritage Park in June 2012 Mark the sharing of the unique culture that is member to, sharing with our community and the world for years to come. Our youth are our most valuable asset. Through education, training, and knowledge from our elders, we are putting our succession plan in motion. They are the foundation to our future. The community uh, graduation banquet that's held every June, it recognizes our learners, our students, and we recognize those who are in grade primary, who have great attendance, uh, to those who are receiving master's degrees, and everyone in between. I think that's done so much to instill pride in the community, but also instill pride in our young people, and that the community as a whole comes together and acknowledges that and honors that. So that's been a source of great pride. Chief, council, and community members are guiding our youth. With the creation of the Youth Advisory Committee, Council is educating our youth on our government operations to ensure a prosperous and thriving future. Each year, Member 2 brings a new level of business to yet a new generation of youth. You know, uh, we, we feel that education of the youth is uh, absolutely important, very key to uh, our success in Member 2, because, uh, you know, we expect them to uh, take over uh, uh, most all the uh, management positions that we have here. It is important to uh, expose them to what uh, we're doing here and ensuring that they're very aware of uh, what Member 2 is all about. Through strong economic and business development, we are creating a self-sustaining economy within our community. Most noteworthy of these developments is the Member 2 Trade and Convention Center, which opened in 2005. It is a 47,000 square foot meeting and convention facility. The Member to Trade and Convention Center is also home to Giju's restaurant, serving cuisine inspired by tastes from around the world. Member Two has also partnered with DP Murphy Group to successfully open the Hampton Inn by Hilton Member Two, which is connected via Pedway to the Member Two Trade and Convention Center. In 2011, Member Two celebrated the opening of the Member Two Business Center, which rents commercial space to locally owned businesses and national corporations. I, I think about uh, what a unique community we are. I think of how much uh, we, have, we continue to live what our ancestors and what our elders have taught us, that we continue to live in our traditional ways and our traditional values. So even despite all this development, 
At the core of all this is still a heart that beats within the community, and that heart is our traditional values. And so when I hear the word, we are member to, that's what I think about. We continue to remain focused on learning from our elders, on conservation and sustainability of resources, and our reverence for our land and waters. As the world and the economy have changed, so has Member Two. But we never forget where we came from or why we are here. We are Member Two.